Ever been stumped by the FLIF HTTP response code 500? It's a common nuisance, but fear not. Today, we'll delve into the nitty-gritty of this error and guide you through the steps to tackle it head-on. The HTTP response code 500, as it pertains to the FLIF app, is a server-side issue. What this means is that something unexpected has occurred on FLIF servers, preventing them from fulfilling your request. When you're trying to access the app or perform a task and this error pops up, it's essentially a red flag from the server. Before we start pointing fingers at the server though, it's crucial to ensure that everything is in order on your end. As a first step, completely close the Fliff app and relaunch it after a few seconds. It's a simple fix, but you'd be surprised how often it does the trick. However, if the error persists, try opening another app to verify that your internet connection is stable. If other apps are also struggling, disable and then enable your internet. If the error remains, it could be time to troubleshoot your internet connection. A less obvious culprit could be an outdated Fliff app. If you haven't updated the app in a while, it might be worth doing so now. Once the app is updated, check if the error still appears. If all else fails, a fresh installation of the Fliff app might be the best solution. Uninstall the app, restart your phone, and then reinstall the app. This process will ensure that you're working with a clean slate. However, if you've tried all of these steps and the error still lingers, it's most likely a server-side issue with Fliff. In this case, the best course of action is to wait it out. Give it a few hours, then try again. To recap, the HTTP response code 500 is a server-side error that occurs when Fliff servers encounter an unexpected issue. To resolve it, you can try relaunching the app, checking your internet connection, updating the app, or reinstalling it. If the error persists, it's likely a problem on Fliff's end and the best course of action is to wait for a while before attempting to use the app again. Remember, Errors like these are par for the course when dealing with technology. It can be frustrating but with a little patience and troubleshooting, you'll be back on track in no time. Stay tech savvy! If you like this information, don't forget to subscribe, and for more tech updates visit queries.com.